Hey friends, okay, so today's video, I'm gonna get into five different ways that you can make a advent wreath super, super easy. And a lot of them are on a very tight budget. If you have a tight budget, this is the video for you. Uh, but either way, this is it doesn't get more easier than this. If you are new here, please subscribe. I would love to have you a part of this awesome community. And so let's get into this. So uh, pretty much what I have, this is the one that I have every year. I got this wooden plank from Marshalls. And then this I actually got from Marshalls too about four years ago. It's a wreath, but it's a little bit smaller. And so it just fits right here on very easily right on there so and that was probably about $24 but I feel like it was worth it because every year I have this beautiful wreath in the middle of my table and I got these candles about four years ago and they have lasted for so long four years so far and so I just bought them online I'll link them down below but pretty much you just put those in the middle of the wreath and then you have a beautiful advent it's so pretty every year I get so excited about this so this is the one that I have every year um, on my table super easy I've seen at Marshall's and TJ Maxx recently they still have these and the wood piece underneath so if you want something for a long term I'd go like I would invest my money in that um, pretty much everything else is from the Dollar Tree so it's like from seven to fifteen dollars so I'm super excited to show you the rest of these all right so the next thing that I got from the Dollar Tree I could not believe I found I was super excited so they have all of these these are all of the purple and pink candles that you would need for Advent and so I they're obviously a dollar twenty five from the Dollar Tree so I'm super excited and then I went to the thrift store and I got these to put in the middle I got this from the Dollar Tree as well I will say with this one um, it was pretty sparse <laughs> and so what I did was I went to um, the Christmas section and they had an extra layer of you know garland that you could wrap around it and it's the exact same thing so I just bought one of those on top of this so this wreath was a dollar 25 and then I just wrapped another one around it so it looks a little more full the other one did not look full at all so anyway and you can kind of play around with it so I just wrapped it around and that looks very full and so what you do is you just I have two of these I got from the thrift store so you just put those in the middle very easily you got your pink your purple all right so isn't that beautiful these candles are amazing so definitely go to the Dollar Tree and get these um, I have a whole bunch of other things from the Dollar Tree but this whole thing is less than $15 for an advent wreath so awesome so beautiful and the rest of them are even less expensive and I think some of them are even more beautiful so let me get into the rest of them all right so the next thing I have everything here is from the Dollar Tree and so this is great if you are low on budget. All right, so this is a charger plate. So you usually put this under your plates, but I thought this was so beautiful. They have gold and silver as well. So you just take that and then they have these over at the Dollar Tree. Now every Dollar Tree is very different. I've noticed I got all of my Dollar Tree things from one Dollar Tree. So uh, it kind of is a hit or miss, I think for some, but the one that I went to had so much but we have like five around this area so um, so I could always go to other ones and find other things so anyway then you want to get the tea light so they have kind of a purplish color and then a pink color and so you get the tea lights and if you want to do this all during Advent I probably pick up a couple packs of this but you just literally just put the little tea lights three in one and then the pink one in just one so this is another one super easy very basic but very beautiful I think all right so this next one is from the Dollar Tree as well and I feel like this one is probably the most value for your money I have one more after this but I just wanted to share with you this one so I found three purple candles um, and these ones are great they're very light colored but um, it says floral dress is the name of it and then I also have this plate so this plate is just a gold plate and it's from the Dollar Tree as well. I think they had a couple other colors as well. Now this one is a lot less traditional because most Advent wreaths are a wreath. So they're round, which means eternity. And so, um, so this one is a little 
different because it's straight, but you do see a lot of advent wreaths like that. Anyway, you just put the last one in there and it's really that simple. So you don't have to go out and buy like crazy amount of things for an advent wreath. Um, I do have a whole video on what the advent wreath means and all of that. So definitely check that out. Now, if you wanted to do a very similar, if you wanted to use these candles, but not in this untraditional way, you could always grab your wreath and just do the same thing in here. I do like that these are glass. It's very nice glass. And so I do feel like these would last a really long time. And like I said, these are all right at the Dollar Tree. I just found these at my local Dollar Tree. And so this is another more traditional wreath that you could do at your home for about seven or eight dollars. Isn't that amazing? All right, so one more thing you could do with these glass candles is you could buy a plate. So just a regular plate. I got this actually at the Dollar Tree as well. So this was $1.25 and it's really cute. I think it's super cute and you could just very simply put all your candles on that and then I feel like this would be very safe and I feel like it would be something that would probably last the entire Advent season. So this is only what, like $7. So, um, so $1.25 for each. So that is another thing that you could do. Just buy a plate and put them right on the plate. All right, so the next thing that I have, these all came from the Dollar Tree as well. So I'm kind of intermixing some of them, but these are just $1.25 each and I couldn't find purple and pink ones, which is the traditional, colors but I found these white ones and so I think that these are great for for this and then this is the wreath that I have from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to use my little wooden stand again just to kind of level it up and so you just place four candles on there right and look how beautiful and classy that looks now I'm going to take it to the next level and there are these little red berries and I'm just going to kind of stick them inside all of the wreaths so that it kind of uh, adds a little bit more color because it's so white. I want to add some more color to it. So I'm just going to stick these cute little berries on, on the outside of this wreath and just add a little bit more flair to this wreath. All right, yeah, I feel like this adds a whole nother dimension to this, so it just is more appealing to the eye, but I think that this is so beautiful, and I feel like these candles will probably last all of the Advent as well. I really do like this one. So th these are all of mine. I gave five, uh, maybe six with this one. Ideas on how to make Advent rates. You can just go as simple as you want, or you can kind of dress things up a little bit. You can go as big or as little as you want, but I hope that you all have an amazing advent. And if one of your Dollar Trees doesn't have what you want, definitely go to another one because you know some have a lot of things, some don't. So anyway, I hope that you all enjoyed and until next time, I will see you all later. God bless, bye.